In a world full of surveillance and control, prison cameras often become silent witnesses to events that transcend the boundaries of ordinary penitentiary routine. Unexpected riots, troubling interactions between inmates, and rare but shocking cases of staff abuse reveal the dark aspects of life behind bars. These moments, though difficult and often painful, are crucial for understanding and reforming the criminal justice system. The Alcaçuz Prison Riot. This was one of the bloodiest prison riots in Brazilian history, occurring in January 2017. Alcaçuz Prison, located in the state of Rio Grande do Norte, became the scene of fierce battles between two rival drug gangs. The conflict erupted over control of the drug trade inside the prison, a common phenomenon in Brazil's overcrowded penal facilities. Security camera footage, which circulated globally, showed extreme scenes of violence, including prisoners armed with homemade knives and other improvised tools. The riot lasted several days and resulted in the deaths of over 26 people, although some sources report higher numbers. Prisoners also ignited fires and constructed barricades, complicating rapid intervention by security forces. The tragic events at Alcaçuz highlighted the deep problems of the Brazilian prison system, including overcrowding, underfunding, and pervasive corruption. This riot sparked a national debate on the need for prison management reforms and better monitoring to prevent similar tragedies in the future. Brutal Attack this incident was recorded by prison monitoring systems, allowing for its widespread dissemination and analysis. The video shows a group of prisoners launching a surprise attack on a fellow inmate, which triggered an immediate response and contributed to a public debate on safety in American penal institutions. The recording not only captures the brutality of the attack, but also the reactions of other inmates and the delayed intervention by guards. The consequences of this event were widely discussed in the context of the need for better protection of prisoners from violence, both from other inmates and from the penal system itself, which has a duty to ensure the safety of all its charges. The video of this brutal attack in an Arkansas prison also provides material for considering the effectiveness of current supervisory measures and prison management strategies to minimize the risk of such incidents in the future. Evan Prison This is a prison located in northern Tehran, which for decades has housed both criminals and political prisoners. Recently, it has gained international attention due to leaked video footage revealing harsh conditions and the treatment of prisoners. The video, released by the group The Justice of Ali, contains stark images from prison life. It shows violence, including beatings of prisoners by guards and moments when prisoners attempt self-harm. These scenes, though soundless, are a clear testament to the brutality and harsh conditions prevailing in Evan. Among the captured scenes is one where a prisoner is dragged across the floor of the prison yard, further intensifying the impression of the ruthless practices there. These recordings not only expose the treatment of prisoners, but also are part of a broader context of international criticisms and calls for reform of the Iranian penitentiary system. In response to these and other reports, International organizations such as Amnesty International express concern and call for an immediate investigation and changes in how Iran manages its penal institutions. Helicopter. Escape. This is not a movie script, but a real feat that occurred in 2013 in Quebec. Two prisoners, Benjamin Houdon Barbeau and Danny Provençal, managed to escape from the detention center in St. Jerome using a helicopter which easily landed within the prison grounds. The entire operation lasted just six minutes and was captured on surveillance footage showing the men climbing a rope to the hovering helicopter. After the dramatic escape, which caused a stir in the media, Houdon Barbeau was captured six hours later and Provençal shortly thereafter. 
This event highlighted serious gaps in the prison security system, prompting reflection on the possibilities of preventing similar incidents in the future. This was not the first instance of using a helicopter for a prison break in this province, which only increased the controversy and questions about the effectiveness of current security measures. Prisoners film their escape. This situation reveals surprising aspects of the functioning of one of the prisons in Brazil. In one of the video documents shared online, a group of prisoners decided not only to escape, but also to film the entire endeavor, demonstrating their contempt for prison security. The film includes scenes where the escapees mock the ease with which they were able to leave the penal facility, shedding light on potential shortcomings in management and oversight in such facilities. This video not only documents the escape itself, but also serves as evidence of possible irregularities in the penal system that may require immediate reforms. It is a warning to the relevant authorities, showing how important it is to maintain high standards of safety and accountability in institutions as sensitive as prisons. Such materials are often used as an argument in discussions about the need for better monitoring and the implementation of modern technologies to prevent similar incidents in the future, as well as evidence of the need for thorough analysis and reforms in the penitentiary system. Riots in São Cristóvão this detailed recording documents dramatic scenes of riots in São Cristóvão prison, where inmates, using cell phones, record the chaos and disturbances. The video shows groups of prisoners violently moving through destroyed corridors, shouting and expressing their anger. These scenes expose serious deficiencies in prison management and security. The material was featured on the Cidad Alerta program, emphasizing the role of media in exposing and discussing the conditions prevailing in Brazilian penal institutions and sparking a public debate on the need for reform. Contraband. This video thoroughly explores the complexity of smuggling prohibited items such as cell phones and drugs into correctional facilities. The film presents sophisticated techniques for concealing these items in everyday objects, from food packages to hygiene products and electronic equipment. The documentary shows advanced methods of contraband detection used by guards, including modern scanners, specialized detection devices, and trained dogs. The film also includes interviews with prison officers and security experts who discuss the challenges of combating smuggling in a high-risk environment and the evolution of smuggling methods and detection techniques over the years. It demonstrates how, despite stringent security measures, criminals still find new ways to circumvent the system. Prison Escape in Manaus this video shows how inmates escape from the Cadeia Pública Raimundo Vidal Pessoa in Manaus, Brazil. During the escape, the inmates used a rope made from bedding, known as Teresa, to climb the prison walls and flee via nearby roads. According to available information, at least eight people managed to escape from this prison, and five of them were later recaptured. The Cadeia Publica Raimundo Vidal Pessoa has a long and turbulent history, full of terrifying events. After 109 years of operation, the prison was closed in 2016, but was reopened in January 2017. This escape is another example of how difficult it is to maintain safety and control in such complex institutions as prisons. This video is an important document that shows the realities of prison life and the challenges that penal systems around the world face. Riot in Chiara Prison This detailed look at the unrest that took place in a Brazilian penal facility, provoked by a highly organized criminal faction from Sao Paulo. The video presents the complex conditions inside the prison, with disturbing details showing the tensions and conflicts between inmates and staff.
It shows how prison staff struggle to maintain control while criminals use the turmoil to strengthen their influence. This event highlights the critical challenges of managing prisons in the face of organized crime influences, as well as the need for reforms in criminal policy and penitentiary management in Brazil. It prompts reflection on the effectiveness and humanitarian aspect of the current penal system, forcing reconsideration of methods of rehabilitation and crime prevention in the penitentiary system. Escape from Overcrowding This recording documents the dramatic escape of several prisoners from Colonia Agro-Industrial do Regime Semiaberto, one of the prisons in Brazil. During the escape, prisoners are seen jumping over the prison walls, clearly visible in the footage. After the prisoners cross the walls, gunshots are heard, suggesting that the prison guards attempted to stop the escape. These shots although not visible on the recording, add tension to the situation and underscore the desperation of the circumstances. Later in the film, the overcrowded prison is visible, highlighting a serious issue. Whistles and clapping from other inmates are also heard, intended to cheer on the escaping men. The film is short but intense, depicting the prisoners' desperation to regain freedom and their readiness to take risks for this purpose. It is a raw and realistic portrayal of prison escapes. This recording is an important document that shows the brutal reality of prison life and the desperation felt by prisoners who are willing to risk everything to regain their freedom. It is a reminder of the ongoing problems with prison overcrowding and the difficulties faced by those trying to reintegrate into society after serving their sentences. This escape highlights the need for further reforms in the prison system to prevent such incidents in the future. Altamira Massacre this tragic event occurred on July 29, 2019, in the Brazilian city of Altamira, in the state of Pará. The incident began with a riot in a regional recovery center, where rival prison gangs engaged in a deadly confrontation. As a result of the riot, 62 prisoners died, including 16 who were decapitated and 41 who suffocated from smoke during the fire that erupted amidst the upheaval. The overcrowding of the prison, intended for 200 people but housing over 450, significantly contributed to the tragedy. The tragic course of events highlights serious problems with overcrowding and control in Brazilian penal institutions. The video shows the initial moment of the riot. In the top right corner, the date is visible, July 29, 2019, 7 o'clock local time. There is significant movement in the facility as breakfast was being prepared at the time. Within a fraction of a second, four inmates surrounded a lone guard in the corridor. One of the inmates held a sharp object to the guard's neck, taking him hostage and stealing his keys. Shortly afterward, masked members of the CCA gang emerged from doors hidden under the camera and then set the entire block on fire. Mistreatment. In July 2016, Australia witnessed the revelation of drastic scenes from the Don Dale Youth Detention Center in the Northern Territory, which shocked the public. The footage, broadcast by the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, ABC, showed the extreme treatment of juvenile prisoners, including Aboriginal teenagers. CCTV footage displayed guards using tear gas against prisoners, as well as naked, shackled, and hooded children being strapped to chairs. Some recordings showed young people held in isolation for extended periods. The reaction to these images was immediate and intense, leading to a public debate on the use of force and appropriate methods of dealing with youth in correctional facilities. Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, responding to the controversy, ordered the establishment of a Royal Commission, the highest form of inquiry used in the Australian legal system, to investigate the treatment of children in detention. 
This inquiry aimed not only to examine the events at Don Dale, but also to broadly assess practices in other youth detention centers. These issues shed light on broader problems in the Australian juvenile justice system, particularly concerning the Aboriginal youth, who are disproportionately represented in detention statistics. This situation prompted the Australian government to reflect on and possibly reform how the youngest are treated in the legal system, emphasizing the need for a humane approach and the protection of human rights. The film from Don Dale was an example of how media and access to information can influence public awareness and accelerate legal changes and practices towards those in very challenging life situations. Escape recorded by phone. This situation took place on May 6, 2016 at the Regional Recovery Center in Altamira, Brazil. The video was shared on social media, quickly spreading and attracting public attention. Four prisoners escaped, and authorities immediately initiated an investigation to identify the person who recorded the video and determine how the cell phone was smuggled into the penal facility. Items such as phones are strictly prohibited in prisons, and their presence on the premises indicates serious breaches in security procedures. This event became a starting point for a broader discussion about the need to strengthen internal monitoring and control, as well as to intensify penalties for smuggling prohibited items. The investigation also focused on potential accomplices among the staff and other inmates who might have contributed to organizing the escape. Additionally, this incident raised issues regarding conditions in Brazilian prisons, which often suffer from overcrowding and insufficient resources, potentially contributing to corruption and other illegal activities among inmates and staff. Riot in a High Security Wing This situation occurred on October 25, 2016, in one of the most secure prisons in the United States, specifically at the Cook County facility. The incident was documented on security surveillance and later published on social media, leading to international discussions about security in highly supervised facilities. According to available information, the riot resulted in 10 people being hospitalized. Both prisoners and prison guards were among the injured, with eight prisoners and two guards requiring hospitalization due to the injuries sustained. Detailed information about the incident indicates that several other inmates were treated on site, suggesting that their injuries were less severe. The police were unable to determine the exact cause of the riot. Among the injuries reported were stab wounds, indicating the use of sharp objects during the riot. Guards who were injured were hit with food trays, suggesting that the riot erupted after a meal. This incident is a serious reminder of the dangers associated with working in high-security penal facilities. Idaho Correctional Center This situation reveals the brutal reality of life behind bars. A video titled Idaho Prison Fight on Camera captures a confrontation between inmates at this correctional facility. This disturbing material, recorded by surveillance cameras, shows the reality behind bars. The focus is on a prisoner who becomes the target of aggression from another inmate. In the initial phase of the fight, there is no intervention from the guards, and the incident unfolds in front of other inmates. None of the fellow inmates react to the actions. Towards the end of the video, after a relatively long duel, the guards begin to respond. This video is not only a document of the event, but also a reminder of the issues in penal institutions. Violence in prisons is a topic that requires immediate attention and action from the relevant authorities.